So next up on the cards from Malaysia, we are at Craft Lab. This is uh, a shop that predominantly kind of caters to like color wraps. They look after quite a nice selection of cars. So we're gonna go in and check out uh, the brand new place that's just been open a couple of weeks ago. So we're actually like pretty good timing to come and visit them because uh, like I said, they just opened. So the cool thing about this place, which I noticed straight away when I came in, is the insane collection of model cars it's literally like an entire wall and it's I was quite amazed that they even have like super new models as well like this uh, 992 GT3 RS it's substantial all right so this is the the main shop window here you have a nice Aventador SV and this super cool 992 GT3 manual that's actually sitting on HRE five spokes with a brushed finish, deep concave design at the back here. And we're actually taking this car out tonight. Okay, so behind this uh, 992 GT3 is this 991 GT3 that's being wrapped in this really dark metallic green. Even has like a nice brown kind of tan leather interior. This Audi R8, um, the thing that quite impressed me was the the interesting Recaro seats that it's running. It kind of looked like something you would see on like a concept car, like an EV uh, micro bus or something. Uh, here's a nice uh, McLaren LT. It's in for a bit of work. It's getting the front splitter uh, redone after some damage. This is the 355 Challenge Ferrari that was at Art of Speed. It actually came away with a nice award. So great to see it again in a nicely lit up area. I mean, this is an iconic challenge car. Basically, the very beginning of, you know, Ferrari's customer uh, racing program back in the mid 90s. Um, I think the 348 was the first one, then came the 355. So it was at the very beginning of, you know, uh, customer car racing and people being able to buy these cars and um, race them in uh, one make series. Of course, now the Ferrari Cup or Ferrari Challenge is way bigger. Right here is a 430 Scuderia. Another iconic Ferrari. Always nice to see kind of collectibles being kept up well. And if you've never seen what this car looks like inside, it's pretty raw. It kind of reminds me of the Enzo inside. It's got like similar door cars made out of carbon fiber, completely exposed floor aluminum chassis and of course paddles only for this one so an insanely valuable collectible an iconic car in a very cool color and those wheels unmistakable pretty cool okay so if we go to the back section of the shop this is where some other cool cars are being kept including kind of homage to the NSX GT. So this car runs the GT-like front bumper with the extended spoiler section here. Spoon mirrors in carbon fiber. The snorkel is also in carbon fiber. Of course, to get that fitted on, this has been converted into a Lexan unit. You can see the piping feeding the intake. Actually, we'll go over to the other side in a second and take a better look at that. Mugen carbon fiber wing, and again, the extended bumper at the back. So ARC airbox by Phoenix's Power down in Kyoto. And you can see how the piping. So here's another couple of cars that were out of speed. I saw this 180 a drift spec car on display. And next to the Ferrari at out of speed was this 997 uh, cup car. So this was the first year that these cars had the sequential gearboxes. So you can see inside it has the paddles. There's no uh, shifter on the center tunnel. It is possibly one of the coolest cars 
next to it. A GTR bumper fronted R32 GTST four door. Love the period correct, BBS. Some big calipers back there. Canada door mirrors, GTR rear wing. So one thing that I just found out here in Malaysia is basically uh, you're able to buy a number plate, which is affixed to your name in Malaysia, not the car itself. Um, so basically you, you can actually get it before you actually own a car. So that means you have to actually register it to some kind of vehicle and what people like to do here to kind of, you know, get these special numbers, which are kind of given away at lottery, I believe. Uh, you can register them on any vehicle, so they choose these 50cc scooters and just store them like this until the car becomes available and then they can transfer the number plate to that other vehicle. So pretty cool and a very different way to how things are done in Japan where I live. So I'm here with Nat from Craft Lab, and uh, we're just gonna ask him basically, yep. you know, what the place is all about. Yep. You, just, you guys are just freshly opened. Yeah, so we basically just moved in uh, to this facility three weeks ago. Yep. So we moved uh, from somewhere nearby. Uh, we ran out of space. Uh, so this is our new facility, yeah. And you predominantly kind of uh, specialize in like color wraps, color changes. Yes, so kind of we stuff. specialize more in uh, the new gen kind of um, film. Uh, right. It's ultra glossy, looks like paint. Yep. Uh, we also specialize in actually removing most parts to wrap all the way inside. So right, when you right. open the door, you know, you don't see, you know how usually with wraps, you open the door, you see your original color. Yep. So we, That's we like wrap, my GTR. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we wrap all the way yeah. inside. So when you open the door and it's all one color. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah. And uh, I took a look at the back of your shop. You yep. have a bit of a storage. Is that yes. part of the facility as well to kind of store? Yes, so car? we try to provide, because um, in the central part of KL, you don't really have uh, premium car storage. So we're trying to provide that service. Right. So there are people looking to store their cars. Mm -hmm. They have more than like, maybe five cars. They don't have space at home. So we try to provide that. It's in the air conditioning space. Uh, we will charge the car. Yep. We, we warm up the car. We rotate the car for them. Yeah. Cool. And uh, speaking of cars, mm. we're going to be taking this out tonight, yeah. right? So we'll bring this out um, for dinner tonight. Dinner. And we're yeah. doing a car meet later yes, on. Yes, and too, we're right? doing a car meet. Awesome. So, and you don't have to wait for Porsche to lend you one to drive. You'll be taking this awesome. for dinner tonight. There you go. I get to drive one finally. Yeah. And a cool, cool keychain too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the afternoon has gotten even crazier. So as I mentioned, we're going to take this out for a ride. Manual 992 GT3 on HREs. Uh, this super cool uh, 488 wrapped in purple is coming out. This uh, is actually running the Pista Aero. So it's like a replica body, I guess. Really well done and it's running 22 inches at the back and 21s at the front. Pretty sick. I'm so excited to actually be driving a 992 GT3 for the first time. And uh, what a great way to do it. I mean, a manual, you know, that's like the dream spec for this car. And, uh, and it's also in the launch blue. Uh, I think it's called the shark blue. Oh man, what a trio. And you got Ips uh, FC from Singapore. So we're gonna have quite the convoy, should be fun. I think I'm gonna step inside and get the seat nicely adjusted. So this is the Wysak pack and it comes with this uh, electrical lifter that allows you to get maximum clearance, especially if you're big like me. 
Porsches are always so comfortable. Always, never had an issue with Porsches when it comes to fitting. They're made for big people. I believe the, the, the head engineer that kind of runs a GT program is like over 190 centimeters himself. So it makes sense that all the cars fit taller people. All right, this is gonna be fun. So no option has been spared in this particular car. It's got carbon fiber everywhere. at our uh, location for dinner uh, I didn't want to risk anything so I refused to park the car close to the curb even though there's hardly a curb but there's this massive gutter here so yeah it was a very short drive it's just to get um, a hang of, of the car it drives so easily and smoothly total Porsche I mean they nail everything when it comes to like you know the feel of the clutch and the gearbox and it even does little automatic uh, blips on the throttle on the way down so uh, I look forward to driving a little bit harder uh, later on when we make our way uh, to the meet. And now we eat. This is something very interesting. I never thought I'd be driving a GT3 tonight with this company. We have a 488 that looks like a Pista. We have a CRX that's faster than anything I've seen with a Honda badge on. And we have Yip with his uh, FC in the back. And we should be doing a cool lap of a highway system. So it'll take about 15 minutes. So we should be able to sample the 992. Okay, so we're pulling into the meet that they've put together for us tonight. Uh, quite excited to see and check out what cars have come out tonight and what an entrance to be making with a 992 GT3. Dude, is that a Pandem FC? Oh my God. Okay, so we made it to the meet uh, that was put on tonight for us. And I'm gonna start off by just showing you the cars that we were out driving with right now, the CRX for Singapore, the uh, Suzuki Swift. And behind it is a Fit RS. Nice Supra here and some old Volk Racing GTCs. And it just gets really, really good now. So you guys are gonna love the variety, starting with this. <laughs> but yeah, this is a Subaru STI Type RAR. So, I actually remember borrowing this when it came out from STI 
God, it must be like 2005 or six, I forget now, but yeah, it's amazing seeing one out in the wild. It's such a collectible if you're into Subarus. This thing has six spot calipers. This is the first time the Subaru or rather SCI went really crazy um, with our kind of special editions. Right behind it, a Fiat Coupe. This is the massive American thing from uh, Art of Speed. Lots of Hondas, a couple S2000s. Let's go down this route here. Another Supra, 70 series Supra, a 90 series Supra, an NSX, another Supra, two GTRs, two 34s, a Datsun Sunny Truck. God, this is insane. 32 on T, 37Vs, Yaris GR on SLs. Hey, what's up? This was the same S2000 we saw at the other meet a couple of days ago after the first day of Artist Speed. An S15, a GR Corolla. I haven't even seen this in Japan on the road. This is the second one I come across in Malaysia. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Sick Altezza here. Two spoon cars, an EK and a DC2. Ichishima san will be very happy to see this level of dedication. Man, I gotta say, Malaysians are just on point when it comes to like nailing, you know, the look and the feel. They do JDM or even, you know, American stuff so well. This is a 992 GT3 we just arrived in, and that was the highlight of the night. Um, I mean, I woke up this morning, I was like, yeah, it's gonna be a good day of shooting, but little did I know I was actually gonna sample my first manual GT3. Wow, seriously, amazing. And then of course, some American rides here. So we're at Juicy Station, which I'll have to find out exactly what this is, but um, it's an inside an underground um, car park, and maybe it's a bar slash detailing shop, I'm not really sure. But yeah, crazy selection of cars laid out. Old school Corvette here, a Chevy truck. Got the American uh, pump there. Step on this side where the 34s are and it becomes Japan. And there's even a uh, Daihatsu Midget here. I mean, check this out. Next to an S660, there's a little Daihatsu Midget. Okay, we have to talk about the 34s here. They're both running Z-Tune bumpers, R-Tune bonnets, Z-Tune fenders, Nismo skirts. This blue one actually has taller wing stays. Nismo wing. That's actually something I've been really contemplating on doing for many, many years on the 34. Um, not so much for aero or looks or anything, it's just the wing sits right in the middle of your you know, view on the rearview mirror. So lifting it up, you would actually get more visibility. I mean, it also looks pretty sick compared to stock. You guys tell me this thing is running Nismo LM GT4s in 19 inch and a nice Brembo setup. Six spot front and four pots rear. Whether this one is on SSRs, Type Fs, and AP Racing Pro 500R track day calipers. We definitely have to take a look at the engine bays of these three GTRs. Let's keep moving. So again, as I was saying, a super on stock rims. I just don't see this kind of stuff these days. And uh, for some reason, there's a car guy car in this uh, Butler garage polishing bay. I wonder if this is really from Japan or not. So I know Kimura-san, the owner of Car Guy in Japan. He's a super cool guy. We did a video with him uh, maybe seven years ago when he drove his F40 up and down a ski slope in Nagano. That was pretty epic. So cool to be seeing something branded by Car Guy here in Malaysia. Cars keep arriving. Sweet 32 on old school Nismo wheels. Another R32 on more Nismo wheels. We haven't even looked down here. There's a 
couple more S2000, look at a wide body one here. A Muse body kit on this. Jay's racing wing. Evo. Another FC behind Yips. FC SW20 on T37s that we saw while coming in. This is a AW11 I was driving the other night on T37Vs. Wide body Evo, Porsche Cayman, Pandem kitted FC, DC5, an FD that looks like it just came out of the Mazda factory. How clean is this? My God, why don't we get places like this in Japan? Okay, so we just had a, a little few minutes to kind of look over these uh, spoon. Uh, so we got an EK and a DC. They're both K-swapped. They're both completely shaven and wire tucked. Both engine bays look absolutely amazing. Completely functional, so it has air con, power steering. So this one generates about 260, if not more horsepower. It's running uh, Toyota Racing intakes. This one about 230 and they're both pretty much running every single spoon part that is possible. And if it's okay with the owner, we can maybe turn the engine on. Okay. Yeah. Over to the DC2. We'll give it a quick start how clean these builds are. So these were all built uh, here in Malaysia and certified by Spoon. Spoon, Jomoto-san from Spoon has been over here and you know they know these guys and it's all given the A-OK -okay from them in Japan. Okay, and if the night couldn't possibly get any better, I just found out that I'm swapping the GT3 for this GR Corolla, so Two new cars I've never driven before. I get to sample both. Okay, so we've had a chance to kind of talk over with the owner of this uh, Bayside Blue R34. So he's actually uh, picked up this car when it was in pretty bad condition and did a full restoration here in Malaysia. So it's a V-Spec, just like mine. Uh, he had it completely resprayed, and he did the V-Spec 2 thing where you actually use the same uh, body color on the engine bay, whether the actual V-Specs came with a black, semi-satin semi black uh, color in the engine bay. And he's running uh, hybrid turbos, uh, kind of restored engine, nice pieces like the R ARC airbox, and a Nismo strut brace and titanium. This is the only non-Nismo part, is this Malaysian-made carbon fiber hood. Kind of looks like a Nismo one. It has the, the same kind of venting. Both cars run the same one. And uh, next to it, silver one. It's pretty much sister cars. This is a bit more highly tuned. This runs a Tomei engine, a Gretti intake, uh, and some HKS turbo. So potentially close to 600 horsepower. And I love the SSRs and the AP racing calipers. So we got a little super corner here. 70, 80, 90 and the Corolla. Two more GTRs we need to take a closer look at. And a little Panda Treno here with the Fujiwara Tuf 10 sticker. Actually, there's two. <laughs> Jesus. It just never ends. It just doesn't end. So of course, I'm the only nerd that would get excited seeing a Daihatsu Midget among such a selection of cars. But you can, this is so cool. Oh my God, it's on aftermarket rims. 
And next to it is this beautiful Persian cat. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? We get to see the GR Yaris engine bay with a Group M carbon air box, ram air kit, and it's on T37 SLs. It's got some additions. Spoilers definitely have to mark it. God, it just never ends. And there's a, a body kit manufacturer in this location. Wide body Evo, custom paint. There's a 34 GTT here on the corner on T37Vs and a Velside FD on VSs. But wait, there's more. Apparently there's a lot of other cars being stored right behind here. So we're gonna go take a quick look. Okay, we got a special car to check out. So this is the storage area. I thought it was far smaller. It's just like, you can't even see where it ends. And what are we looking at here? Oh my God. No, that's so cool. Wide body SW20. TRD style. <laughs> style. <laughs> TRD Corolla style. FD. FD Spirit R. Wow, look at the seats. They haven't faded. JZX81. Cayman. With a, with a 86 on one side and a CRX on the other. SL55. Custom white body and facelift. Good lord. Comes with the custom wheels. Oh, so they put the new headlights on? Yeah. Okay. Another Pupra with stock wheels. Oh my God. I was saying that I haven't seen a, a Supra on stock wheels in so long and now there's two. Wait, are these are stock wheels? They look really tiny. Yeah, they are. Evil wagon just pulled up. And if I'm not mistaken, a Lamborghini STO has just rocked up. I'm gonna go and check it out. We'll pass the white body S2000. The 996 GT2, another G, another DC2, and here's a Lambo. Crazy, what a color, man. There you go. We didn't even talk about the 355 and the Beetle. Malaysian car culture, guys.